guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am doing my collective haul for November 2019. After Halloween, I spent a couple of days with my parents and me and my mom went shopping and got a bunch of fun stuff for me. Starting with four items from H&M. First off, we have this lovely red cocktail dress with mixed animal prints. I have a very similar dress to this and a leopard print, and I absolutely love that dress. When I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. It's very comfy and stretchy, a perfect party dress, pretty much. I also got another cocktail dress from them, which is this silvery one. A similar model and fabric as the red, but with folds and sort of a draped neckline. I thought this would be the perfect dress for New Year's Eve because of the silvery awesomeness. Then I got a pair of jeans. These are stretchy, high-waisted, white leopard print jeans. I forgot to remove the tag before filming, but yeah. I absolutely love these pants. They were very, very cheap and they fit me great. And they have a tight boot cut fit. Nice and elastic waist. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna distress these or not, so we'll see what happens. I've worn them once already and I might want to distress them a little bit. So yeah, we'll see what happens with that. I feel like if you wear a garment and it's covered in the same kind of print, distressing it can make it a little bit more interesting because it can all become a little too like um, busy, I guess the word is, uh, when it's a pattern like that. So yeah, I think I might actually do some distressing on these. And then I got a refill on my favorite perfume, which is from H&M and it's their own brand. It's called T-Shirt. It's one of those misty perfumes that just kind of smells like clean clothes, really. It's very gender neutral and just fresh. I hate smelling like a piece of candy or a bunch of flowers or anything like that, so very, very strong perfumes are not for me. I prefer the more discreet ones that are just, well, fresh, <laughs> like this one. We are moving on to this month's items from Shein. And before I show you these, I just want to mention that as this video is being posted, you still have a couple of days left on the Shein Black Friday sale. So even though I did a separate video for Shein and Black Friday, I will still include that same Black Friday code in this caption box because there are a couple of days left to use that discount code. And the discount code for Black Friday ends on December 2nd, but you also, as always, have my regular discount code from Shein. I will include all of this and any other kind of information, including direct links in the caption box to this video. The first item from Shein this month is a pair of leggings, and these are unfortunately Unfortunately, a little too big on me, which kind of ruins the fit of them. The model is very nice though. I love it when different kinds of fabric are combined in one garment like this. These do unfortunately not pass the bend over test. Yeah, you can totally see my undies. But if I wear a longer tee or tank top over these, the issue of transparency and the fit being too loose actually isn't an issue anymore. And that's basically how I wear leggings anyway, with like a longer t-shirt over them. So it's Really not an issue, but just like, keep that in mind if you want to wear these for working out or stuff like that, that they are a little transparent and uh, these, yeah, they were just looser in the fit than I expected them to. Then I got a black and white stripy dressy jacket that is slightly longer than your standard jacket, which I actually like because I think it looks good when you wear it over dresses that way. The jacket has one button in the front and two side pockets. The fabric is loose, soft and stretchy, so not the stiff kind of material that jackets can have sometimes. I got this to wear for more dressy work occasions and such, but I also used it for a ringleader look on Halloween. And I don't think that the camera's picking this up properly, but the fabric is sort of textured, like not completely smooth, which at first I didn't like, but after wearing it, I decided that the texture made it stand out more, so I've actually gotten used to it now. Next, I got myself a new pair of black distressed denim shorts. And I know, shorts during winter, what? <laughs> but I actually do wear shorts all year round. I just wear them with like stockings when it's cold outside. These fit great in the waist, but they feel a little too baggy over the crotch almost. I feel like they're a little slouchy on me. They have real pockets both in the back and on the sides, and the distressing looks lovely, but then on the sides, there's like a weird fold in the bottom hem that I don't really know how I feel about. The fold is only made in that one spot, so the fabric doesn't stay folded all the way around your thigh, and I'm not sure I like how that looks. We'll see if I maybe cut that off or do something with it going forward. And the final item from Shein this month is a bright red dress. I know I have a couple of very similar dresses, but I just love dresses like this, so why not have more than one? This is a model of dress that's actually one of my favorites, with a draping and thin shoulder bands, but this fabric is not what I was expecting. It's like a thick velvet. I also feel like the thickness of the fabric isn't very flattering on the body. 
maybe if I gotten it in a smaller size because it is a little loose in the back right now, like over the top of my back. But like I said, I do love the drapey effect and it is a nice cocktail dress. So we'll see if I get some wear out of this. I think I might wear it for Christmas actually because it has that really bright red color. Again, you will find the direct links and discount codes in the caption box. Let's move things along, shall we? We're gonna take a look at some thrifted items that I got while I was shopping with my mom. We went to this huge thrift store in Uppsala where they live and we were allowed to bring my dog inside, which was awesome. So he was just in there with us casually hanging out in one of those shopping carts. So freaking adorable. <laughs> I got six items all in all from the thrift store. And the first one I'm gonna show you is a black and white dress. It's like a classic skater dress that was originally from H&M, and I actually have this in gray from before, and it's a really great dress. It has a comfy jersey material, I love the model, and the fact that the stripes shift from vertical to diagonal, I thought that was a nice touch. I also love that it's not just regular black and white stripes, but like almost melty, runny stripes. That was a pretty cool touch, I thought. I also found an asymmetrical bright red cardigan, and I'm so happy about this. It's basically a huge rectangle with sleeves. It's a nice thick knit without being itchy. It's slouchy and loose in the best kind of way. And even though it doesn't have any buttons or a way to close it, you can of course wrap yourself in the sweater and wear like a belt or use safety pins to close it if you want to. I prefer to open those. So you can see the outfit underneath as well. I also got two other sweaters at the thrift store. The first is this black knit with slits on both sides, which I thought was a nice detail. Lots of space in there too, very roomy, so just like a standard sweater, which is great. This is a little itchy though, so I'll probably wear this when I'm wearing something long sleeve underneath, otherwise I'm gonna go crazy like scratching myself. And then the third sweater is gray and it's almost like a sweater dress because it's so long. It'll keep my ass from freezing this winter. And it has an enormous snug turtleneck that you can wear as it is or even pull up over your head like a hoodie, which is great if you forgot your beanie or something. Since I buzz my head pretty much down to nothing except for my bangs, it's a really good idea to be able to cover my head when it's cold because I'm gonna freeze otherwise. I also got two baby onesies for my dog. And I have a tutorial here on YouTube on how to adapt these if you wanna try it for your pooch. So we have a gray one with white details and a red one with white stripes. And here is what he looks like in them after they have been adapted for a dog. While I was shopping with my mom, I also got some stuff from New Yorker, starting with these red leggings in a plaid pattern. These are thick and warm and they totally passed the bend over test, yay! <laughs> I also got this lovely bra top in red leopard print, which is like the only kind of bra I ever wear. I don't do regular bras at all. It's this or nothing. <laughs> it's got adjustable straps, which is great. And I also bought a set of three undies to match the bra. So we have the red leopard ones, solid black ones, and then zebra print. And then I was too lazy to try these on, but I also got a standard pair of thigh-high black socks with white stripes at the top. Always a nice way to spiff up an outfit and to stay warm, of course. Then me and my mom spend some time looking for a proper winter jacket for me. You guys know that I live in Sweden and it can get really cold here. So I wanted a proper, like, big, super, super warm one that will keep me warm even if the temperature drops below 20 degrees minus because, yeah, that happens. So we went to a shop called Veromuda. And uh, I found this awesomeness. It's a black, insanely warm winter coat with a huge faux fur hoodie to keep my shaved little head warm. This thing has six enormous pockets on the front, which is so great, both for keeping your shit in, but also to shove your hands in if you're cold. It has both a zipper and buttons all the way down the front so you can stay really warm. And again, the hoodie is great. You can really hide out in there if you want to. And I also love the length of the jacket. Like it's down to my knees, which is great. The sleeves are properly made to keep the cold air from entering, and this is just such a well-planned, thought-out jacket. Sweden really can get insanely cold, so I'm gonna be hiding out in this thing as soon as the temperature drops below zero. Next, I bought a pair of black dungarees from Wish. They were super wrinkly when they arrived, which is when I shot this, but the wrinkles faded once I started wearing them, and obviously you can iron them if you are disturbed by the wrinkles. They're nice and baggy with buttons at the top, not full length, which was not an error. I actually like that they're not to the floor as my boots go a bit up my leg and with loose pants like this, I hate having the fabric hang over the boots. So these are actually perfect length for me. They're in a very thin fabric though, so they're more for the warmer season, but I've been wearing them indoors when I work and such and they're so, so, so comfortable. They have an invisible zipper on the side, so you can easily put them on and take them off. The fabric has no elasticity though, so make sure if you want to buy these that you don't buy a pair that's too small. 
I got these in an Asian medium. Next up, I have a couple of makeup products to show you from the German makeup shop called Cosmetic for Less. This is my go-to shop for all things essence. And for starters, I did a refill on my favorite mascara, the Get Big Lashes Waterproof. I got three of them so that I'm good on mascara for a while now. I also needed a new basic blush, so I got this mosaic blush in All You Need Is Pink, which is a warm peachy pink tone. I also got this white liquid eyeliner pen for fun white details, and this thing is actually amazing. It's so opaque. I've used it for nose contouring and details on the eyes so far. Then I got a black liquid liner called Liquid Ink, which is kind of a standard liquid liner, and I always keep using these, so I just figured I'd try one that I haven't used before, and it seems good, and it's actually the eyeliner that I have on today for my brows and this, so yeah, it worked pretty great. The final item this month is a piece of merchandise. Me and my husband recently went to a super fun gig here in Stockholm, where the main act was the Toy Dolls. If you're not into punk, you might not have heard of the Toy Dolls before, but they are a hilarious UK-based band that have actually been going strong for 40 years now. A what? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. I've seen them once before, and that was like 13 years ago or so, and they don't tour very often, so when the tickets dropped, I was like, I have to get tickets for me and my husband, because he hadn't seen them before, and we had a blast. I got one of their red tees with the classic logo on it, and as per usual, it is highly likely that I will turn this t-shirt into a tank top at some point. We shall see what happens. Those are all the items that I had to show you for November. All the available direct links, discount codes, and other things will be in the caption box. You want to lick mommy's arm? Um, and if you see anything you like or you have any questions, please turn to the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. Th don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time. Can mommy get a kiss? Mm, thank you.